What's going on guys? This is Cooking with Gamble episode three. We're gonna make the easiest protein pancakes you have ever made. Now this is straight out of my online academy recipe um, within the app here. Super, super simple. So all you're gonna need, two eggs, one to two bananas. We'll start with one if we feel like we need another one, chuck it in. Um, some protein, one to two scoops, uh, Greek yogurt, and a few toppings for after, uh, depending on what you like. So. What we're gonna do first, crack these bad boys. Oh, bad start, bad start. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, and then we're gonna do the banana, so just open this up, throw it in, mash it together. Just get a fork or spoon, whatever you want. I'm just gonna crush this down. I probably should have used a more ripe one. All right, we'll skip this part. <laughs> yeah. Come back when it's crushed. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I fucked it. You meant to put the banana in first, okay? So do the banana first, mash the banana up, then crack the eggs into it. Because if you crack the eggs first, then try and mash the banana. It's not gonna work. All right, so we're just gonna blend this and we'll be back in a sec. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, guys, learn from my mistakes. And next, protein, one to two scoops, depending, obviously, guys, these recipes pretty simply can be modified depending on your calories and macro needs. So I'd go two scoops of protein, so you're looking at, if you eat all of these, roughly 50, 60 grams of protein after they're all done. And if you add great yogurt, then even more. From there, just give it a bit of a stir, get it nice and thick. I forgot the secret ingredient, this makes it so much better. A bit of cinnamon. Give that a whisk. Up from there, pretty much ready to go. So, you're gonna chuck it on the pan. I'm gonna go light heat. Coconut oil, olive oil, or butter for your, I guess, so it doesn't stick to the pan. Unless you're a rich mofo and you got a non-stick pan, and then you're good, you don't need this. Right, there's a couple ways you can make this. So you can pour that into like a cup or a blender and then pour it in, or you can literally just grab a spoon and like drop it straight into the pan. So we're gonna try that way. Pan slightly heated, ready to go. And then all we're gonna do, take a big ass spoon, grab a little bit of this mix, straight in the middle. Well, it's not really the middle, but you get the gist. So just put in as much as you want, like depending on how big you are. I'm pretty impatient, so I do them pretty big and then just do it a few. Um, wait till the bubbles start to come through, flip them, give it another 30 seconds to 60, take it off and you'll be ready. So we'll be back in a minute. A few moments later. So a few seconds later, bubbles coming through and then all we're gonna do, now this is the moment of truth, if I, if I fuck this video, it's done, you've never seen me again. Simple little flip. And that's what we're looking for. So if you do use butter, like if you have the fat macros, you're not trying to keep the calories super low, it, it tastes so much better and it looks way, way better. So. Yeah, give that a try, leave that for 30 seconds, take it off, and then we'll put more in. Sweet, easy as, and then yeah, it's like two minutes later, two, three minutes, depending on how many you need, and like I was saying, you can change this up depending if you need more calories, less calories, so obviously if you need more calories, higher breakfast, just go like two bananas, three eggs, three scoops of protein, whatever, um, and then we're gonna add some toppings on top. But the calories and macros for all of this finished product will be on the screen. I highly recommend definitely this, sugar-free mango syrup, if you are on a cut, so if you're trying to lose fat, then just because it's lower calorie. If you're bulking and you can, you know, if you've got the calories to spare, then use real maple syrup because it tastes better. Um, I would also chuck in some of these frozen berries, then Greek yogurt on top in between as well. That just adds more protein, more flavor, and then this just makes it taste wicked. That 
That's good shit. I've got skills. Try it, try it.